Hello and welcome back to the 12th mission, 12th episode of GTA. Today we'll just continue along with Joe Leone's couple of mandatory missions. I think there's a few op optional. Nonetheless, we're going to do them all. And we're going to stick with Joe Leone until we complete all of his mission lines. <clears throat> I just realised it may be shot because it's late so if I speed there I might get lucky no, there we go farewell chunky Lee Chong just got there, probably. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Triads? Chunky Lee Chong. Nah. Might just stop at ammunition anyway, even though we're equipped with some weapons. <clears throat> Looks like there is a, a firearm sitting behind the lot, as you said. The gun shooting. Oh, so it's only your regular old pistol. AK-47, not available yet, because I accidentally activated the Rampage mission last mission. Temptation got the better of me. If I knew that, I wouldn't have hit it. If I knew what I did. So I'm definitely not a fully equipped expert at this game. Well, I can play it, but I don't know all the ins and outs of it. But if I do remember correctly, this was a challenge for me when I played this a month or so ago, this particular mission. Because I know there was a few people up to kill. I don't know what the best angle of approach was or is. So we're just gonna take a risk. Go straight from here. I do think if I go straight for Chong, it's a lot easier. So micro submachine gun ready, a few bullets. Alright, where'd he go? Ah, he's getting away. Oh, the goddamn water aim. Oh no, this ain't good at all. I'm gonna have to shoot. God damn it. Okay, we make 
All right, this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. Three stars, oh my god. What am I going to do here? Can't even shoot because I haven't got the micro SMG anymore. I have to just smash into his car. Hope for the best. If I can get out of this one alive, that's great. <laughs> If only you got out of the car. All the cops ran into him on accident. I'm sure this police vehicle is going to explode at some point soon, so I hope he does before me. Because I'll have to change a vehicle with three stars and that will be so difficult. <clears throat> I think he's starting to smoke. Oh, maybe. If I could push him in the water, I'm sure if I did that, I'd get pushed in myself. Oh no, I'm starting to smoke now. Wait, that's a wrong vehicle. How did you get away so fast? This is a lot harder than what it needed to be. Okay. Is that him? Yeah, that's him, not me. I should have stayed in my car. Quick getaway vehicle. Oh no. Oh, how lucky. No way. So now what? Did he die? Or did he get away on foot? He must have got away on foot. Unbelievable. Hit and run, baby. Well, that's our first somewhat difficult mission. I made things a lot harder than what I needed to be, I'm sure of it. And on that, we'll head back and save it. Where are we? Definitely want to hurry up and end this mission. Well, let's finish, but save it. One of the good things about this game, a lot of unpredictability. That them series of events could have played out so much differently. There goes my bonnet, but it'll be restored when I save it. Alright, I'll see you on the next episode.